Hey guys, me again, the Bearded Herper here. Here I give you guys some updated footage of Ember, my female King Durin. The counterpart to the male that I posted yesterday, Blaze. I just weighed her in at uh, 676 grams. I'll put a picture up just to verify. Uh, she's ready to breed this year. Hoping to get a nice clutch out of her and Blaze. They are possible head hypo, so maybe I'll get some hypos too. And there's a chance um, that there's an albino gene in there too, but I'm not 100% certain on that one. Today's going to be kind of a double whammy. You're going to get uh, some video of Ember here, as well as my female jungle corn storm. So, again, Ember is an F3 hybrid, King Durin, crossed between a California King and a Honduran Milk Snake. F3 means she is third generation, meaning her parents and grandparents were all hybrids, or at least one of each pair was a hybrid. In her case, uh, her, both her parents and both her grandparents were hybrids. <laughs> Let's see if I can get a... Ember has been a sweetheart uh, right from the start, right from hatching. She was also, from my understanding, she was the biggest one out of the clutch, out of her particular clutch. Uh, she's always eaten very well. Right now she eats small rats. And she is right about 47 inches. I'm not using the light on the camera today because her the black is so shiny that it's hard to see details when I use it on her. Let's see if I can get a good shot of her face here. There you go. You can see she's got that king snake head. Anyway, that's Ember. Uh, next up, I'll get Storm out. We'll get a weight on her as well. And uh, I'll tell you a little bit about her. Okay, and we're back with Storm here. Storm is an F2 jungle corn, which means that she is a California king corn snake hybrid she was produced by clayton carlisle at mesozoic reptiles she's a few months younger than blazing ember so instead of being about three and a half years old she's about three years old now she comes from a line of jungles that were produced using the newport california kings and she definitely has that newport king pattern it's a little hard to see because of the yellow and white. Sometimes the yellow is a little hard to to see on the camera. Uh, but basically, she looks like a tessera corn. Which there's some speculation that, te that the tessera gene came from the Newport uh, California King lines being crossed into the corns. She definitely has the corn snake head. Uh, and the corn snake body, but her color is much more, well, is exactly like an albino California king, yellow and white. You won't see that clean of white on most corn snakes. And um, she's been pretty much a sweetheart since the get-go. Uh, she's only bitten me once, and that was kind of what I consider extenuating circumstances. We were doing a educational presentation here at the Las Vegas Science Expo, and they put us next to some very loud music that was vibrating all the cages. Yeah, and she got a little aggravated, and she bit me. That's the only time she's ever bitten me, though. So I'm hoping to breed her to Blaze this year. 
So that'll make uh, hybrids that'll be F3s, and they will, uh, well, technically F4s. Um, but anyway, they'll be a cross between California King, Honduran Milk Snake, and Corn Snake. You can see she's a lot more active than Ember is. If you have any other questions about Storm, let me know. Of course, uh, like, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching.